Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Genesis G80 inside of Pembroke Pines. This card is inside of the Premium Game Pass for $60,000. Now is this card worth a few? Let's find out today's video. Now before this video starts, guys, I want to let you guys know that I have Roblox Troop with Roblox merch on it. It looks really cool, really nice. So yeah, you should go check it out. And I also have a Discord group that you can, you know, join because why not? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> you can just look all the links in this uh, in the description of the video. You should click them because yeah, you're good. And yeah but we should get into this for you here i'm not gonna hold up your time and the sun's gonna go down and then it's gonna look really really bad so looking at the genesis g80 it looks pretty nice i like the design of it it's pretty cool i like the front end design particularly the most it looks pretty cool pretty nice and the back end it's you know one of those back ends that are actually styled properly and to my liking so uh, let's get into the car now let's listen to the startup and uh, hopefully the sun doesn't go down All right, well, the startup, I like it. It's pretty cool, pretty chill, pretty calm, but still a little aggressive, which I like. It's, you know, it's a mix of good and everything. But let's look at the daytime running lights here. Those are pretty cool. Do we got anything in the back? No, we don't got anything in the back. Now let's do the headlight test real quick. Headlights, headlights are really nice. It's uh, odd positioning, to be honest. I wasn't expecting it to be like that, but hey, I like the back end a lot. The back end looks pretty cool. But uh, let's move on to the, uh, let's do the blinker test. Oh, this this is this this is sick. I like it. This is a hundred percent one of my favorite features on this car. This is insanely cool. I like that. Back end looks pretty nice as well. Front ends also pretty cool. Let's turn the blinkers off though, and let's do the headlight. I mean, not the headlight. The horn test. I already did the headlight test. You can hear you can hear your your feet your hand smashing into the thing as you honk, and it's not an annoying honk, which is pretty cool. So this car so far is really, really good. Now, can it impress me on the road test here? But let's, before we do that, we gotta do the rev test. Okay, rev test, uh, rev, rev is all right. It's not one of those annoying revs, so I'm not gonna hate on it too much. But pulling out of the, uh, the, the turn, uh, turn out there, and we're gonna do the top speed test, and us already getting off the line here. We're not going super fast. This is a, you know, premium car, wouldn't be, too much of a sporty car, but we are still accelerating, so acceleration is a little bit slower on the other, on the slower end. But 152 is the stop speed. Let's do the brake test running from the signal light there. Braking from the signal light all the way to here. Braking is pretty good. I like that braking. Acceleration, not so much. Braking is all right. Let's do the turn test now. So let's just make a UE here. Back end slides out for a little bit. It's not an uncontrolled slide. You can control the car pretty easily. It's pretty good. I'm just going to take that turn, um, there was a little back end slippage, but hey, it's fine. You can completely control this car. It's predictable when you turn it. You know if it's going to slide, you can correct that slide quite easily. So, I mean, this car is pretty good. See, I just took the slide, let it slide out. Pretty cool, pretty good, and pretty nice. Let's do the final test while I'm gunning it through. And it just does not slide. It just grips at the whole turn. Now, this car is really, really good, and if I were to rate it out of 10, it would be a 9.3... It has some really cool features, really cool design, and um, thank God I didn't hit that pole. But overall, I, I give this car 9.3. It's really good, really nice, and pretty quick for what it has. It just doesn't have too much acceleration power, which I don't really care. You can hold a nice amount of people in here. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what car is next, what game I should play. And I know, I know some of you on RP videos, I will be doing that um soon okay they're they're scheduling an rp video and i'm trying to get it you know i'll figure it out on my schedule i'm trying to do the pembroke pines update cars but i could i could probably fit a video or two in you know it's all good it's all fine but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one goodbye